Oh, welcome back to Total Chaos, Director's Cut. Almost forgot. Uh, we're going to left off of uh, opening the... Just this door. I can't remember what it was called. We don't have the key anymore. Oh, well. Um, and yeah, just continuing from there. One thing I want to check out, though, is I was told there is a possibility that we can use the melee weapon to break open boxes. So, oh, oh shit, we can. So I want to see if we can actually get anything, and if not, then we can always just reboot the uh, game, because the, the knife will break at some point, obviously. But I want to see if I can gain important items from the boxes. Oh, shit, yeah. Like, uh, cans of food, shit. Yeah, but we can't go up any further. So, and we'll see if we can kill the enemies. We All the boxes that, uh, you know, existed before. Maybe we can break the boxes and find, uh... Because I was told in the comments you can probably break the boxes and... The enemies over here or what? Noisy. Oh, duct tape. Mailbox, small explosive. Useful for many things, huh? I want to see if one of the boxes has sticks or something so I can fix my uh, melee weapon. Oh. Oh, jeez. Uh-oh. Did I kill him? They were massively bleeding, hang on. Um... Bandage, bandage, bandage! There we go. Let's calm down there. That was very painful. Salami. The weapon's about to... Oh. oh, he dropped something. Hmm. This is like all the things we've smashed. The scissors are about to break, but we haven't found a stick. So, what the person said is true. But at the same time, I don't want all my weapons to go away, you know? And all I've gotten is fucking food. Otherwise, as one would suspect, the scissors broke, and, uh... Yeah, we, we don't have anything to fix it. We need a wooden handle, but we just... We just don't have it. So one of the things I'll try... Is I'll go back, and I'll break different boxes, and... Or just... Actually, I'll break the same boxes just to see maybe it's randomized, maybe it's not. And if not for that... Let's say... What was that? Ooh, big! Army rations, what? Large package of dry food, enough to feed three people. Very feeling. Re really... Very filling. And provides a stamina boost. God damn! It is randomized. Okay. So if I could break open enough stuff to constantly break boxes and repair my weapons, that would be opportune. But that would be highly luck-based. But I'll skip ahead and see what I find, and if I find anything worthwhile, then... Because like the, when I got the pickaxe, I'm not sure how the durability is for the pickaxe, but maybe a fully repaired one will last a good while and I can smash more boxes. One thing I do like, I'll say, before I skip ahead, though, I do like that the enemies, you can hear that the enemies are literally behind the door, even though it's a small loading sequence. You know there's shit behind that door. Which is pretty damn cool. Anyways, let's try to fuck them up and find good shit. Wait, what? I... Okay. 
They sort of died when I entered the door. Whatever. <gasps> Stick! Maybe? Oh yeah! This, this is actually a good run so far then. Shit. Let's do another save. A new save. Hell yeah. Alright. And scissor wise, it's a weapon. I wonder if we can use it for like utility things. Like, can we use it to cut things? Common regs worn. Mm. Who knows? But we'll see how strong this is at destroying boxes without the durability going down too low. All right, I basically broke everything. Well, well except for this. Nothing. And oh, we got another stick. Hell yeah! Okay, this was definitely worth it. I smashed a lot of the boxes, and you can, as you can tell, the pickaxe is actually lasting a good long while. So, uh, yeah. It's, uh, definitely worth it. Ooh, I didn't want to do that, no. But, uh, yeah, wow, I killed the enemies without attacking them, which was weird. The scissors are very weak, and as soon as they're destroyed, they're just gone for good. So, it's a shame. You can't get to those boxes. And I'm presuming when you kill a monster, there's a chance they drop stuff. Which is kind of unfortunate. Ah, so loud. Anyways. But yeah, I don't know. Uh, I'd say successful uh, extermination. Oh, wait, we're hungry. Mmm. Ah, uh, what to eat? What to eat? Energy drink. Yeah, that'll do for now. I'm a very, very successful run. I have no complaints. Got a good amount of chunky food and two sticks. We repaired our pickaxe. That's a little a slow start to the episode, but honestly, I'm I personally am not complaining. Cause I'd rather be prepared for the future. I'm. Ah, there we go, that's much nicer. I'm very long-term investment sort of game player when it comes to games like this. Eh, I don't know, let's save in the original now. No regret -y. Oh shit, a new weapon too? Wow, fuck you. There is no use in dispatching them. You might as well leave them there to fester. Hmm. I mean, the only reason why I would kill an enemy is if they're in my way. Item combine and repair. And combine items in total chaos. Open your inventory. If a successful combi uh, combine is found, an item will appear in the combine. This can be used to repair broken equipment. So let's see, wood glue. Oh, for the hammer. Oh wow, get another weapon? Just if I repair properly? Wow, and they give me another stick. Fuck me. Okay, wood glue. So if I find a... a, a tool head, like we had the pickaxe head, this one is a hammer head, and we can repair it. Let's see, attack damage 21, versus this one is 30. 30 to 100. The result is 21. A common tool. Mm, it doesn't say it has a heavy attack. And this is 28 and has Weight cannot be repaired if broken. But can be repaired. The pipe can't be repaired. Oh, and it's classified as junk. Hmm, so it's the thing I should use first, obviously. Hammer-wise, I don't know if I want to use it. It says the weapon is very durable, and the pickaxe weapon is also very durable. So my question is, why would I want to repair the hammer? If I can save the wood glue and the stick for the pickaxe, which deals more damage and has a charge attack, and they're both equally very durable. The only thing that's different is heavy attacks. I think the con of the, the pickaxe is it uses a lot of energy, while the hammer says it does not take a lot of stamina. Um. I'm 
probably not gonna repair it for now, unless super, super desperate. The pickaxe is just the better weapon and uses the exact same ingredients. Only question is if I can break this to move forward, we'll see. I'll just go around for now. Eh, yeah, fuck it, whatever. Goodbye, scissors. Um... But yeah, use the pipe first. Give me all the items. Whoops. T, glad you were able to return the contract to us. How would you like to start next week? We have a lot of backed up work we need to get on top of. Last year was hectic, but 86 is looking to be worse. Glad to have you on board. Everything else we already read. I'm going to assume we can actually smash these. It's sort of in the way. Everything else is sort of fine. Yep, okay. If we can smash it, let's make sure nothing else is in the way. Or our item is hidden underneath these. I don't want to waste my durability, but I also want to check. Doesn't seem to be. Alright. Oh, we can do a heavy attack with this. I mean, it was for the hammers. Oh, jeez. Can't go through this door. Wait, will you fucking hit me? Seriously? Oh, Jesus. Oh. Mother... Wow. Okay. Seriously. Okay. Uh bandages. Fuck me, okay. Um... Ah, syringes are shit, fuck me. Um... That combat was just shit, fuck me. I could kill myself by drinking vodka. I'm kinda curious, but there's no achievement for doing that. Fuck it. Let's use that. Looks like I'll probably have to use the stim pack. But slowly, if anything, because I think the bleeding ceases after a while. I think. Yeah, there it goes. So we'll do them slowly. Okay. And then, hunger-wise, just nom. Now we're all good. Okay. It was a really shitty fight, and I hope it... Not, like, yeah. The first time I fought one of those enemies, it went fine. I have to get used to its attacks and letting it attack first while dodging or something. Because that just didn't go well at all. You throwing rocks at me? Wait, oh, double tack. Okay. Come on. Oh, come the fuck on. I missed that. Should be fine. So I'll slowly learn how to fight properly. I think doing the attack and then quick dodge afterwards and recharge stamina should be fine. Should be fine. Chapter two. Oh. Decay. We missed a lot of boxes at the start of the game by the lack of knowledge of destroying boxes, but we should be fine. Nothing incredible should have been lost. Just a few accessories. Hmm. Throw up some... Or obstacles. 
Put any throwable items in the throwable inventory and then press F to throw the item. Convenient. Throwables. Quick slot. Huh. I didn't even know I had a quick slot, or is this just activated? I think it was just activated, or just I was blind to this entire box the entire time. Okay. Interesting. I could put healing items, like health, stamina, hunger, bleed sort of thing, but we'll leave that for now. Throwables. What, what is the throw key, though? What is the throw key? Throw. F. Yeah, because it's not flashlight. Flashlight's double clicking in the inventory as far as I know. Alright, F. We could go this way. Why not? No? Okay. Or, or not? Big boxes. Um, do we just is this we, this like? Oh, we're we're learning. I hope there's no YouTubers that actually like read the throwable description and they just you know they don't perceive that as a a puzzle you can accomplish. I could foresee that happening. Hell yeah, loot. Hell yeah, food. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, medic box. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, Batman. Now where should we go? This way, because the box is in the way. More puzzles. Needs a key. Ooh, is that, is that a fucking shotgun? It's either that or it's a lever action rifle of sorts. Me want. Hmm? Come on. Come on. Nope. Hmm. Double swing. Yeah. Fuck you. I wonder if I should throw a rock and see if it does any decent damage or not. And what was that? Duct tape, maybe? Mm, how do I get in there? We need a key, probably. Mm. Oh, hello, 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 hello. Where am I? I have no idea. Is it trying to say I'm at the green circle? I don't think so. I have no idea. We'll look at this later. Um, it's confusing. This map, if anything, is very big. It does not open from this side. We're gonna have a lot of exploring to do and possibly a lot of killing. Maybe if we just look on the map for this area. Mm. It's not the church. No idea. Ah, oh, well, we'll look at it later then. What? 
I don't get it. Just, you know, blue key, feeling blue, maybe? Maybe there's more meaning to it. And hell yeah, what is all this shit I'm picking up? Pills? Yeah. Wonder if doing melee attacks. Oh, okay. Well. Oh, you're moving a little fast. Calm down, calm down. Man, what got him all angry? Stamina is so garbage. No items. Nothing, really. But yeah, stamina is kind of shit. I don't know. Oh, another one. Okay. Oh, you just thought I throw, 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 throw a beer bottle at me? Fight like a man. One, two, so You tried again. No, it, stop throwing shit. What are you, a child? Ow, okay. Mm. Okay, let's see. Alcohol. Lowers health, lowers... What, bleeding? Wait. Reduces... Oh, bleeding is fine. Okay, never mind. I thought bleeding went up. Never mind. Click the wrong thing. Um, regs. Dirty rag can be mixed uh, with alcohol to make bandages. Oh, so that's how you make these bandages. You know, the one I just wasted. I want to sort my inventory a little better. It's kind of shit. I mean, like, it doesn't organize them efficiently or in a way that pleases my OCD. Like, the sticks aren't even together. The weapons aren't together. Like, you got food here. And food here, and food here. There's absolutely no symmetry to this at all. It bugs me. So, I'm gonna reorganize it quickly. So it says that the duct tape can be combined with a rag. Like, it shows blue. So it looks like I can combine it, but it doesn't say how. So I'm gonna presume it's like a small explosive, a rag probably can be combined, but as of now, it can't be. You're gonna keep all this, uh, accessory stuff with each other. The flares? Honestly, I have no idea. And food. Alright, that's organized plenty, I guess. Um, you have the... Oh, the weapons and weapon parts on the top left. Accessories, top right, food and alcohol, bottom right, and healing supplies on the bottom left. That's plenty decent. Alright, they're moving on, I guess. Rise up. Hmm. Oh, come on, nothing? Hey, salami. And more, more food. A brute meat, what? I need to find a mobile gas cooker. Wait, what new pills? Blood clotters. Reduces bleeding, but increases hunger. Yeah, whatever. Looks like I only have one direction to go, thankfully. And it's only this way. That way is locked. 
And over here is the only way to go, really. Two of them, huh? Ooh, miss. Hunger. Going down. Let's see. Looks like that one got pissed off. Hunger. I want to eat things that don't give me, uh, don't give me radiation. If I can, oh, okay, oh, Jesus. My health is pretty shit. Yeah, okay. Jesus Christ, sometimes they just don't die. For realsies. Alright, I've confirmed having the inventory open also doesn't pause anything. You'll still get hungry, just like in Fear and Hunger. Actually, in Fear and Hunger, if standing still, you need to go in the inventory in Fear and Hunger. For this, let's see. They should be fine. Okay. I'm back to being good now. Okay. There's no point for me to not kill the monsters now. I mean, I could still, honestly, just run around them, but... There's a lot of them here. They just get annoying running around them constantly. Oh, come on, fucking barrels. Fucking serious? Oh my... Oh my... Seriously. How am I bleeding? You're kidding me. Fuck me. Okay, no, no, you know what? No, fuck that. Fuck that. The barrels blocked me. Oh, and then this massive bleeding. The, the range they can sometimes have is kind of fucking bullshit. But... I'm just wondering if my melee combo... No. It doesn't do any hit stunning. Nope. Oh, oh, oh. What? Fucking really? Okay. Oh, these, these enemies are kind of fucking annoying. I, I want to get a gun and shoot them in the fucking face. Alright, he hit me once, so fuck it, whatever. Bleeding, all that are fine. Finding a lot of fucking random ass pills. Fine, though. Don't need to take anything. Mm, knew it. Knew it. No getting stuck. I just can't... Mm. Oh, come the fuck on! Bullshit! That headbutt range is so fucking bullshit. Like headbutt. Headbutting in real life. You don't. Oh my god. Re headbutting range. Wait, you're. What? Seriously? You're still not dead? Holy fucking hell. Obnoxious. I guess I'll just apologize for all the fucking complaining. I'm sure some might agree the attacks are a little bit annoying looking, but otherwise. You just have to hopefully get a gun, though even then, even if we do get a gun, there's no guarantee ammunition will be uh, easy to find either. Probably not. But they've 
Autosave. It's been a lot of enemies. Also, seriously, they just non-stop. Same fucking enemy. Maybe my range is better than I think. All right. No damage this time. Oh my god, really? I'm just skipping ahead. Alright. Jesus Christ. Garbage bags. Oh my god, more. Odd, but okay. My stamina rejuvenation seems pretty shit now. Right. Ooh, broken knife. Knife repair kit. Interesting, interesting. eat some food at the cost of radiation. We should have plenty of things that would get rid of radiation. Like, dirty water? No, that's... We eat food to get health, and we get radiation, so we need to drink alcohol, which then lowers health again. It's kind of funny. Ooh, was this a shovel spade? Ah. Oh. What would this make? Twenty-five and ninety does not deal a lot of damage. Twenty-five to ninety is not a lot of damage, apparently. Can do heavy attacks, weapon is not that durable. Why the fuck would I wanna waste all this equipment if the weapon is not very durable? Heavy attack charges up very quickly though. It's not durable, though, so it's probably not viable. So honestly, since this thing weighs... Five... Eh, I'll just put it to the side. I don't think I'll need it. And it's gonna be causing unnecessary weight. We probably won't need it. I'll have to throw it at some point, likely. Otherwise... There's a box up there we could maybe get to. What is this? Ooh. Great condition rags. We haven't been taking a lot of damage, so we still have a decent amount of armor left. Thankfully, it's not a wave of enemies. Likely around the corner, though. I'm going to skip ahead, though, again, and just see if I'm missing anything here. Mr. Scott, as you requested from last week's visit, I followed up on treatment options. The community at Fort Oasis is still young, so unfortunately we do not have the required equipment here. Most patients we get with similar, condi with similar conditions are usually referred to go back to the mainland for treatment. I understand you have pref preference to stay, but sadly this is all I can recommend. Kind regards, Thomas Clark. And the weapons we got. A beautiful wrench. One-handed attack cannot, cannot be broken. Primary attacks do not take up a lot of stamina. Can't be broken. And scrap metal. Can be combined with duct tape and rag. Alright. A metal shiv. Junk. 42 damage has good non-heavy attack damage. One-handed attacks. Weapon is not that durable. Primary attacks do not take up a lot of stamina. 42 is decent. If a charge attack from a pickaxe is 90, then two little stabs is 84 damage. That sounds good. Maybe you can try it out. Hopefully it just isn't, you know, um... Hopefully it's not garbage. We'll put that there. Actually, this... There. That should be fine. Um... Okay, everything's fixed up. Now I have... Actually, I should have a... Pickaxe. 
other pickaxe. Um, wrench. And shiv. There we go, okay. The wrench, that doesn't break, and the shiv for enemies only. But that means we, when we break boxes, this thing never, never breaks. So we only use the wrench for breaking boxes. Hmm. Oh, jeez. One hit! Go fuck yourself! Hell yeah. I don't know. There might be a mo lot more to deal with around here, but... Just... Oh my god, there's... I'm skipping ahead, again. Let's see, one hit, two hit. Nice! One... Oh, much easier to kill enemies. But this shiv ain't gonna last much longer. Uh, still, I could kill two enemies. Yep. Yep. Nice, nice. Not. Nah. I'd say it was worth it so far. If we can find more scraps for more shivs, then it'd be worth it in the end. Otherwise, oh my. They are just throwing too many enemies at me. Alright, now all those guys are dead. I'm just gonna have to stop here. I've been recording for 46 minutes. It's probably way too long as is. This is too dark. Uh, and there's two areas we have to travel to. Let's go back. We have to go over here and behind us. Like, where's this? Oh, it was a shortcut. Oh, okay, it was the red door. Ah, oh, I see, I see. Okay. I'll just save closer to where I need to be then. We haven't found a blue key yet. Just so when I restart the game, I don't completely forget what I was doing or where I was going. This way. Wow. But the game, although the enemies are somewhat annoying, having higher damage will make it easier to deal with them. Like the Shiv was really good, but its durability was shit. Uh, we also picked up, what was it, scissors? Scissors again, and another scrap metal. Empty bottle. You can be crafted into a Shiv with it, or maybe throw it at an unsus unsuspected... Ooh, shotgun shell, too! It would pick up a lot of garbage. Now my inventory is getting filled again with... Shit that needs to be organized all over again. But. Eh. Otherwise. Uh, wait, no, wrong one. Eh. Otherwise, I can't complain. It's uh, kept me playing and wanting to go further. Uh, just gotta butcher these enemies and then when I get a gun, have revenge by blasting them in the fucking face because them hitting me is kind of annoying. But, eh. I hope people don't mind the, the, the mild complaints here and there when I get hit. I'm, I'm very competitive with things like this. Usually it just means um, reactions of me being frustrated with myself, or sometimes frustrated with the game, but I mean the headbutts are kind of ridiculous in, in terms of range. Like in real life, just try to headbutt something in front of you and do it like, you know, a wide range in front of you. Headbutting is a very short range type of attack. Having, you know, a forward momentum where you sort of thrust forward your entire body into a headbutt without stumbling over, it's, it's, it's kind of weird to picture. So headbutts shouldn't have that kind of range, but oh well, they're monsters, so I guess whatever. But either way, I hope you enjoyed and look forward to more episodes of Total Chaos. If you did enjoy, please leave a like, comment, Hit that subscribe button, become a subscriber, hit the notification down below for updates on my videos. Thank you for watching, until the next time. Mm.